Hello everyone and welcome to another Maker Monday. So this month we will be making some paper mache trinket bowls. All right, so this is uh, using a lot of recycled upcycled material. We have recycled newspaper. We have some materials that have been sitting around in our closet for a while. And this one might be stuff that you can find all the materials at home as well. All right, let's get started. Start off, you're gonna to wanna to blow up your balloon. You don't want it too big, maybe like the size of a grapefruit or a softball, a small melon. And then that will get you set in one of your cups. So we need to make our glue mixture. Traditional paper mache uses flour and water, but I don't want to have food because that can get a little weird, especially in the summer. It can go rotten, so we're doing glue and water. So you had the cup of glue, so pour the glue from the cup with the lid into one of the other cups, and then you're going to fill that cup that the glue came in about three quarters of the way with water. So you want your glue water ratio to be three quarters water to one part glue. And then you're just gonna mix it up. You can use, just go right in with your brush. Make sure the water and the glue are incorporated nicely. And this craft can get pretty messy and it is washable glue so it does clean up pretty well but I do recommend that you have something under your workstation. I'm gonna use this paper plate, you can take the bag that the kit came in and take that apart, use that. But just to save your surface from some glue. And then you just start gluing them on. So you have two options here. You can use this paintbrush. Or you want to get extra messy and be pretty thorough, you can take your paper and just dip it in the glue. And spread it all the way down so that's on. Everything is thoroughly covered. And then you can keep adding that way. Messy, messy, messy. So you're not going to want to cover the entire balloon because you want it to be a bowl, not a, a globe. So you're going to want the rim of your bowl to be about halfway up the balloon. Alright, and then just keep doing that until you have one layer around your balloon. Alright, so I've let this first layer dry. I do recommend letting your layers dry in between putting more on because avoids it getting too wet and too sloppy. So I am going to start on my second layer. And you're gonna be doing this, um, letting it, adding a layer, letting it dry. You wanna probably have three layers. Make sure all your holes are covered. I'd say you probably have good coverage when you can't really see the color of the bloom underneath the paper anymore. Like that looks very pink. It still looks pretty pink there. But once I get that third layer on, that should all be covered up. So you're just going to keep doing that until you have three, maybe four layers if you feel like that's the right amount. 
and then you're gonna let it dry all the way before you do anything else. So just let it dry overnight. And then we'll do the next step. Okay, so I am back here with my balloon and paper mache. I've let it dry overnight, so it's very dry, very firm. So we are going to pop our balloon. You can use this very dramatically with a pen. I like to do it gently with some scissors at the base. And pull your balloon out, toss it aside. We don't need that anymore. And you have a pretty solid bowl. Now it's round on the bottom. We don't want that. So what you can do is sort of press that in at the bottom. And now it's flat. So you have a couple options here for the edge. You can either leave your edges raw or you can cut them down be a little more even. It's hard to cut in a circle though, so <laughs> my bowls end up being a little lower in the front than they are in the back, which is kind of cool. shows off your trinkets that way. So I've got my bowl there. Now you can just take your Sharpie metallic marker and give it some cool designs. You can go quick with it, like I'm doing, just get that, that random sort of energy. Or you can be very spot on and specific with it. This, is, this bowl is your oyster, you can do whatever you want. Perfection. Alright, have fun with your paper mache and happy crafting.